Hey there, cancer researchers. Today I'm diving into the world of tumor suppressor genes and how they fight cancer. These genes are like the body's own superheroes, working tirelessly to control cell growth, repair DNA, and induce cell death when necessary. Let's start with P53, often called the guardian of the genome. This gene regulates the cell cycle, detects DNA damage, and induces cell death if repairs aren't possible. Mutations in P53 are found in about 50% of cancers including breast, lung, and colon cancer. Next up, BRCA1 and BRCA2. These genes are crucial for repairing double-stranded DNA breaks, maintaining genetic stability. Mutations here are linked to higher incidences of breast and ovarian cancer, especially in families with a history of these cancers. Then we have PTN, a gene that regulates signaling pathways like insulin and growth factors. PTN dephosphorylates phospholipids to inhibit the PI3K pathway, thus controlling cell survival and growth. Mutations in PTN are seen in breast, prostate, and kidney cancers. Moving on to the RB gene, which inhibits the G1 to S phase transition of the cell cycle. It's vital for controlling cell growth and division in response to DNA damage. Mutations in RB are observed in tumors like retinoblastoma, breast, and lung cancer. The APC gene is next, inhibiting the WNT signaling pathway that regulates cell growth. APC mutations are linked to familial adenomatous polyposis, a hereditary colorectal cancer syndrome. Let's not forget CDKN2A, encoding p 16 inc 4 a which inhibits the G1-S transition in the cell cycle. Deletions in CDKN2A are common in melanoma and pancreatic cancer. STK11 or LKB1 plays a key role in energy metabolism and cell growth regulation via the AMPK pathway. Mutations in STK11 are associated with lung cancer and poitz jagers syndrome. Finally, the DCC gene involved in cell adhesion and growth inhibition. Deletion of DCC is common in colorectal cancer. In conclusion, understanding these tumor suppressor genes is critical for cancer research and treatment. Mutations in these genes often lead to cancer, making them key targets for developing prevention and treatment strategies. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more insights into the fascinating world of cancer research.